Let's practice using the guess method to solve an equation. A toy car is pushed 5.3 meters per second. The car travels a distance of 17.8 meters. How long did it take to travel that distance? What I want you to do now is to pause the video and work this problem on your own. When you think you have the problem solved, unpause the video so we can go over it together to see if you got the correct answer. Okay, let's work the problem using the guess method. Remember, the first part of the guess method is writing down the given, the information that we have. In this case, a toy car is pushed 5.3 meters per second. That is a measurement of speed. So we know our speed is 5.3 meters per second. The car travels a distance of 17.8 meters. The distance equals 17.8 meters. How long did it take to travel that distance? So the unknown that we're looking for in this is time. We do not know how long it took to travel that distance. Next part of the guess method, G U, is E. We need to write down what is the proper equation to use. In this case, we'll note that we're looking for speed, distance, and time. We're trying to find time. The equation that we know is speed equals distance divided by time. Given unknown equation, the next step is substitution. So we're going to take the information that we know and substitute it into that equation. So we know that the speed is 5.3 meters per second. So I'm going to rewrite the equation because it helps me to keep on track. And we know it's 5.3 meters, and that per means that seconds goes on the bottom. Okay, the distance we know to be 17.8 meters. 17.8 meters. The time is our unknown. So this is one second. 5.3 meters per every one second equals 17.8 meters over time. Time, remember, is what it is that we are trying to solve for. If we go back to our math, we remember that the way to solve an equation like this is to cross multiply. So we're going to cross multiply those factors and those factors. So let's rewrite that again down here. 5.3 meters and I always like to put everything inside parentheses because it just makes life easier. Times t is equal to 17.8 meters times one second. We are trying to solve for t, remember. So how do we get t alone? In order to get t alone, we're going to have to divide. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other side. So to get t alone on this side, the opposite of multiplication which is 5.3 meters times t. The opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide by 5.3 meters. But if we do that over here, we also need to do that on this side. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. Now, we know that if we have something on the bottom and on the top, that we can cross them out. They cancel out. So 5.3 and 5.3 cancel out. Meters and meters cancel out. Over here, we have meters and meters, so they cancel out. We know that 17.8 times 1 is 1. So if you want, you can take this step to just help keep you on pace. And just write down again that t, because all of this is canceled out, is equal to, we have 17.8 on the top, times 1 is 17.8, and the only units we have left remaining on the top is seconds. And this is all divided by 5.3. We have no units down here on the bottom. So if we grab our calculator 
and we take 17.8 divided by 5.3 equals, okay, we're going to end up with time is equal to 3.35. We're going to round that to 3.35 would round to 3.4. And the only unit that we have left is seconds. So our unit is going to be in seconds. Now, let's go back and give ourselves a sanity check. It's asking for how long did it take to travel that distance. It was asking for time. Did our unit come out in a unit of time? Time is equal to 3.4 seconds. Yes, it did. So we know that we worked it correctly.